Hi guys, in this video, I am going to discuss about or print a string triangle in C and C++ triangles. So I am making this video because one of my followers asked this question. So if you enter any string like uh, Eric, then output must become like this format. So let's do it. So for this we need to take integer variable. First is i, next j. And here after take care variable nm. And let's use a printer function. So at your print into any string. So here after let's use gets function. So inside I am going to pass nm. Now next is take one more integer variable int k equal to str len and here I am going to pass nm and here up to minus 1. Now next is let's write to follow and here i equal to k and i greater than equal to 0 and i minus minus. And here after let's write one more for loop. So write here for j start from 1 and here j less than equal to sorry less than i and j plus plus. And here no any statement I am going to write. Next to write one more for loop. And here take int x variable and that is equal to i and here giving the condition x less than equal to k and here after x plus plus and here printer function and here write to percent c and here nm of x so that print and uh, here after let's close it and write one more time printer function and here write to slash n. So this is the code to print a string triangle. So let's execute the code. So at here I am getting the error gets the nm. ij get nm enter any string, it's okay. At here I am getting the error because char enum. So we need to give the size of array. So at here I am going to give 55. Now let's execute one more time. So this time no error. So let's enter eric. Array. So see at here see it's come first next ic. Here after ric next eric. You can enter any name like uh, here. Of program so this is the output you get m first am rm grm like this so here after I'm going to discuss the try and method of this program so right here if you debug the code then control comes to main function here after that coincide so right here I have taken two integer variable first is i Next to J. Here after I have taken care variable nm, then given the size 55. So maximum you can enter 55 elements into the array. If you want more, then here you can increase the size. So next variable is nm. And here after printer function. So whatever you double code that display into the output screen, enter any string. And here whatever I am going to enter, so that received by nm. So I am going to into nm value e r i c. So 
So this is a zero index. Here one. Next is two. This is three. So here, uh, because I have given the size of n m is fifty five, so index continue on till fifty four. So this is a fifty four, and a uh, rest index like uh, six seven. So this is a null character till fifty four. Now here after control comes to this point. So right here I am taking integer variable k, and here I used to str alien function so that will count the length of n. So I have total character I have entered of uh, four. So the length of n is four, and here four minus one or uh, three. So three go to k. Now here after control comes to this point for loop. So k value go to i. So at here i value is three now. Here after that check the condition i greater than equal to zero. So three greater than equal to zero condition is true that coincides. So at here j value is now one. Check the condition j less than equal to i. So j value is one. I value is three. One less than three condition is true that coincides. So there is nothing. So that won't do anything. Here after i j gonna increase. So j is two now. Check the condition two less than three. Condition is two. That coincides again. There is nothing. So again that increases the value of j. So j is three now. Check the condition three less than three. So this condition is not to not coincide. Here after control comes to this point. So right here, I have taken one more integer variable x. So right here i value go to x. So x value become three now. And here after x less than equal to k. So x value is three and or k value also three. So three equal to three. So that coincides. So at here that print n m or three position value. So three position value is so or c. So c print and here percent c because n m is the character. So here after that increase the value of x. So x is four now and here check the condition four less than k value is three. So this condition is not true. So here after that not coincide not. Control comes to this point. Print up function. So here slash n. Then cursor bring to the new line. Now that go up and that decrease the value of i. So i is now two. Here after check the condition two greater than equal to zero. Condition is two. So that go inside. So here j value start from one again. So here or check the condition j less than equal to i. So j value is one. I value is two, one less than two. Condition is two that coincides, so there is nothing. So here after j gonna increase, so j value is two, I value also two, 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 two less than two. So this condition is not to not coincide. Here after four, int I value int x equal to i. So x value, I value go to x. So i value is two now. So here, here x is become two. Now here. Check the condition two less than equal to k. So k value is three. So two less than three condition is true. So that print or uh, n m of x value is true. So n m of two position value i print. And here after x gonna increase. So x is three now. And x value is three. K value is three. Three equal to three. So that coincides. So that print n m of three position value. So three position is. Or uh, C, so C print. Now next uh, that increase the value of x. So x is four now. So at your x value is four, k value is three, four less than three. So this condition is not to not coincide. So control comes to this point. Print a function slash and then cursor bring to the new line. Here after that go decrease the value of i. So i is now one. So at your check the condition one greater than zero. Condition is two. So that coincides. So at your j value is one. I value also one, so one less than one, so that condition is not true, so not coincide here after for loop. So I value go to x. So I value go to x. So I value is now one, one go to x. So this time x value is now one. Here after check the condition one less than equal to k. So k value is three now. So at here one less than equal to three, condition is true that coincides. So at here that print n m of x. So x value is now one. 
So n of one by some r is there. So r print. Now here after that increase the value of x. So x is two now. So check the condition two less than three. Condition is two. So that print n of two by some value. So two by some i is there. So i print here after x increase. So x is three now. So check the condition three less than three. Condition is two. So that print n of three by some. So that print c. And here after x go nine increase. So x is now four. So check the condition four less than equal to k value is three. So this is not true. So that not coincide. So that print the function. So less than then cursor bring to the near line. Here after that go up increase or uh, decrease the value of i. So i is zero now. So here check the condition zero greater than zero. So zero equal to zero condition is true. That coincide. So that here this condition is false. So that not do anything. So here int i value go to x. So i value is no or zero zero go to x. So here x value is zero no. And here check the condition zero less than k value is three. So this condition is true. So that coincides. So this print n of zero person or value. So e is there. So e print. Now here after x go nine case. So x is one now. Check the condition one less than equal to three. Condition is true that. So that print n of one person value. So here all print. Here after x go nine increase, so x is two now. Check the condition two less than k value three condition is true. So that print n of two person value. So two person is i is there. So i print here after x go nine increase, so x is three now. Check the condition three less than equal to three condition is true. K value also three. So that print n of three person value. So c print here after that to increase the value of x. So x is four now. Check the condition four less than equal to k value. Three. So this condition is not to not coincide. Here after print of function slash and then cursor bring to the near. Here after that go up in decrease the value of i. So i is now minus one. So I have to check the condition minus one greater than or zero. So this condition is not to so that not coincide. Here after that also main function. So this is the trial method of this program. So I hope guys you understand. So one more point is if you are Mark this one as a comment. So let's uh, execute the code one more time. Enter. Here. So at the same output. So this all uh, these things are unnecessary. I included in code, so please ignore this one. And uh, one more point is uh, this code is in. Or C language. So if you wanna convert in this one in in or C plus plus language, so here you need to write C in. And here let's execute. So there is no any error. C in is working. So here let's so. Right at your C out function, and uh, here you need to write C out here also. And here C out slash. So So this code converted into a uh, C plus plus language. So let's uh, execute all uh, this code. So at here I'm going to into A W P and Apple. So see a uh, expected output. I'm getting E first. Next is L E. After that P L E, D W P L E, A W P L E. So getting expected output. So about the dry run method of this program, the same dry run only here printer function gets function, and here whatever the for loop is the, is I'm using in C language, that things are same here also. So this is the code now converted in C, converted into the C plus plus language. So now in this video it's over. 
so i hope guys you understand how to print a string triangle like go uh, this format so now in this video it's over so thanks for watching see you next video